sorry for guys who are reading the articles about selling to women because it's not very helpful when somebody just has to say, oh, women are all about relationships. Because if I were a guy, I'd be going, well, what the heck? I'm nice to them. What do they want? You know, I treat them exactly the same way as I treat my best male clients. What's it, what more can I do, you know? But the thing is, is the transmitter and the receiver are on different frequencies. And it's important to recognize that. So I'm going to walk you through a meeting that would be a good, good example. He might start out and say, well, let's start with introductions. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I started out, I was really successful, then I got an offer I couldn't refuse, and then they promoted me, even so, I got an even better offer there, fantastic, most of my clients are top people, I've doubled their portfolios in three weeks, it's blah, blah, blah. It's a brag session, essentially. Now, I understand how that's important in male culture, because that's the way guys connect with each other, through competition. And if you're better at one thing, say you know more about music than I do, that's fine. You tell me about music, and then I'm going to tell you about uh, xylophones or something. And I get to win at something that I'm better at. But women don't like to play that game. They don't get it most of the time. They get it, but they're not comfortable with responding in kind. So it's annoying to women. They usually won't say anything about it, but it is annoying. And then it's her turn. And she'll talk about... She's there to, to, to figure out her family's future when she's talking to you guys. Now, apparently, guys, when they're sitting there talking with you, are there to buy a, this kind of product or a, that kind of product, all right? Women don't even think in those terms until a bit farther down the road. So she's talking about my husband this and my two stepsons, and I'm worried if we put it in the trust, should we let him have it at 21? Should we wait it until he's 35? You know, I love to go sailing. I'd love to get a second house up in the island, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. And she'll go on at some length, and she'll tell a bunch of stories. And then he'll say, well, okay, now that we've gotten to know each other a bit, let's get to business. What kind of product would you like to buy? And then if he's kind of dumb, he might say something like, I know a lot of women prefer to stay away from very risky products or something like that because almost every article about selling or marketing to women in the financial services area will say, women are very risk averse. Tisk, tisk, tisk. That's a terrible thing to be. I suppose, unless you're in the protection business like life insurance or something. So the first meeting to her, here's the difference between what he thinks he's doing and what she's hearing the transmitter and the receiver. He thinks he's making friends and he's creating respect through this sort of credentialing of himself. She thinks he's crowing. She doesn't really get what that's all about. She thinks that she's sharing with him the essentials of why she's here and what she needs help planning for. And he thinks, yeah, you know, this small talk has been going on for like 25 minutes. Are you kidding me? Let's get to business already. And it probably for the best motives, you know, out of respect for your time, ma'am, I suggest we get to business. You know what? She is. She's on business. That's the way she talks. She normally, when she's talking about cars, when she's talking about computers, when she's talking about financial products, she talks in terms of lifestyle characteristics and lifestyle benefits that she's looking for and she says this is what I want you're the expert you tell me what I should be looking at I didn't come here all loaded up on exactly what products I wanted to buy I came here to give you the information you need to give me some advice and guidance 